So we're going to see a three man push to hub again. No, two, 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 one. One man building in base, they've done that every single round, it seems to work out for them. And we're seeing a four man push to hub, oh, south tunnels, they're going to ambush. I wonder how, how the snails are going to play this. This could be quite interesting. Uh, Dam's getting a bit too close maybe, I mean he hasn't seen anyone. Oh, but they know they're there. Oh, and they take down Llama, and they get Wii as well, well played by Dam. Two kills from him, and Heracles cleans up with Valve, and he gets Tain really nice, 2v4. Wow, really well played by them. And Kingo's coming in to reinforce with Ray as well. And they're going to push. This has opened up a nice time gap for them. Four respawners. And we're seeing the uh, Liper just going to clog up in North Tunnels here just to slow down those Marines. But they're going to make it through because there's a nice little tunnel there for them. But there's Hydra's just being built, but they weren't up yet. And we're seeing Llama, Wee, and Vald coming from the vent as well as Liper and Tain. I wonder if they can take this. Ray's not in such a great position. He could get the flank though. And Heracles and Kingo go down as um, Ray gets one kill. He needs some meds. He could clean up another. Another two kills maybe, to win on this position and then what the aliens do. But they're going to go for Mez. Oh, and we see Eagle Eye here in Mez. He's just trying to get the Hubsa down. Oh, they're so low! He could get some kills here! No, that's so unfortunate. And we're seeing Ray engaged in uh, this, this Gordon. He's so low, I thought he was going to kill him. Oh, look at him, he's still alive. How is this possible? He's actually alive still. This is ridiculous. Really well played by Life, but just kiting him round there. Oh, so unfortunate. So unfortunate. So we had a bit of a trade-off there in kills. Um, I actually haven't been checking the resources and stuff like that. I should probably do that more. Um, give me a second. There we go. Just wanted to get my dashboard back up so I could see you guys. Uh, so we see Heracles here, just trying to get the power up in all processing. Just trying to expand. Three RTs, two being built. It's going for the second party. And the Sauna men have gone for Shift Hive. They, they like that. They haven't actually gone for anything else at the start yet, I don't think. Uh, could be wrong with that. And Heracles against Tain and we here in all process, and he does get taken down, no kills. But we've got Dams here, he could clean up. Ooh, Wii's pretty low. Well as Tain. Eagle Eye gets a kill on Llama, that's an uh, observation. Dams gets a kill on Wii, but he does get a Parasite kill from Tain there. Uh, so we could see Repair going down. Uh, but Ray's going to come in from Harp against Vald, and he does get a kill, doesn't take any damage. So he could, could well defend Repair here. And in the meantime, we've got Kingyo, he's going to put some pressure on. Uh, He's going to put some pressure on in the uh, mezzanine with Eagle Eye. And they've got Wii and Llama to defend as well as a Drifter. I think their bike is going to be increased now, but they're not actually going in for the attack, so that's kind of wasted. Uh, it's completely wasted, in fact, because they're doing nothing. Just delaying until that skull gets there, but it's too little, too late. And uh, we've got uh, Ray and Heracles here in Hub. They're going to push towards North Tunnels platform, maybe Warehouse first. Oh, but we do see Kingyo going down, but Eagle Eye gets two kills on Vald and Wii. And now he's free to attack that RT as he pleases. But we are going to see a respawn. Alarma's going to come in, probably defend. Maybe he's legged out. It looks like he's. Oh, he's going lurk. Alarma's the. That's his chosen life form. He's been found there every single map recently. And he is a pretty good lurk, to be fair. Um, and we're seeing Warehouse going down now from Heracles and Ray. And they're playing really well. So five RTs, six from being built. And Eagle Eye's getting taken down by Wee and Alarma now. That lurk's going to make a big difference in this early game. Uh, this is where the Marines really need to take up as fast as possible. We have seen them going for phase gates quite early. Um, we're seeing dams building up here in all processing. In the meantime, Ray is trying to defend all on his own against Wee, Liper, and Llama. And Skulker Gorge and, and a Lurk. Dams, they, they know that Dams is here, but they don't know where. But they're probably going to check this spot because it is quite a common spot, especially in higher level play. Um, so we'll see what happens. Tain's going to go for repair now. And Liper's just going to heal up this uh, harvester. And he does get a nutrient miss on it, just to build the uh, sisters a little bit quicker. And we're seeing we're seeing Llama just trying to delay these Marines here in uh, Elevator. They're pushing up towards Mez. But we've got Wee just ready for an ambush here. Right next to the steps. And Eagle Eye gets taken down. Really nice play there by Wee. And King Emish, uh, Dams actually managed to get the kill on... Oh, that's somewhere else. Completely different. Sorry about that. That was, uh, <coughs> that was in Warehouse. That was Dams in Warehouse. So no no kills in mezzanine. And now we're going to lose elevator transfer unless someone gets there pretty quickly. We do see face started armor one as well. Uh, observations obviously already up. And Dams gets killed Tain as well. So they're pretty well right now. Four RTs, one being built. But at the same time, the aliens are on four RTs as well. So their phase is going to be coming up really quickly if it stays like this. They need to get these RTs down and look at Lace Drift. They're just harassing. Wee's really low. He could go down. It does go down. Llama's not very low. No no more kills from the Marines there. Nice clean up from the aliens. They are sitting on three RTs, two's be two being built. Actually, they need to recycle all process, and there's no one there that can build it. Uh, but Kingo just going to kill on Tain, and they're going to pressure uh, pressure Mez. Biomass one's just been started. Armor one is finished, and Llama's just going to try and delay them until some skulls come to back them up. This is what lurks do nowadays. 
They play, well, <laughs> I say they play less aggressive. Ray and Llama do pay, play fairly, fairly aggressive compared to, to most looks. But it does pay off in their case. They are good looks, so they can afford to do that. And we're seeing a free man push from the aliens into 80 Eagle in all processes now. 60% built, really low. They need to recycle that RT while it's there. He's not going to take all these out. No backup from any other Marines. And Dams is just going to wait here. He's going to play bait and nice recycle there. And Ray does get the kill on the Harvester, and there's William Lama just going to go for the vent. And now Dams is on his own against the Skulk. That's good for him. He can rebuild all process in the meantime. Ray's on his own against Lama and Wee now. Can he get the kills? He gets killed on Wee, but Lama's almost. He's almost killed him, and Tane's going to come in. He's just spawned. And no meds for Ray, as it seems. So are they saving for something particular? Maybe. Oh, shotgun's just been researched, and. Oh, just been started, rather. And Ray does go down. And we're seeing uh, power going up in the hub here. Phase gates have been finished. Phase gate dropped as of yet, but that is where the phase gate is intended to go. And Eagle Eye does get the kill on Vald there. And Lama's just trying to delay the pressure on Warehouse. But that's probably going to go down unless they want that phase gate to be built in the uh, in hub. Seeing Wee and Tain coming in on the Eagle Eye here. Heracles is coming in from elevator transfer and Ray's coming in from south tunnels. And Eagle Eye Ray! <laughs> oh man, they just cleaned that up there. Really nice, really nice play from them. And Dams gets the kill on the Dams gets the kill on the harvester in in warehouse. Now they're sitting on two RTs, the aliens. Five RTs for the for the marines. And three three marines just sitting here in hub. Weapons one's just been started. They're doing some alien pressure into the warehouse now. They want to kill Dams so they can expand back up there. But in the meantime, we got Ray pushing north tunnels. Uh, no one else to back him up though. They just want to sit and defend this phase gate. It's probably more important. Uh, Ray's still going to put the pressure on. <laughs> He's just drawing all these aliens towards him like a beacon. Oh man. Is he going to get the kill on Tane? Tane, oh! Yeah, he gets the pistol kill. He's so low though. Llama could probably finish him off right now. But da Dam's coming in from behind. Wee's going through the vent. And we're seeing a little bit of pressure here on Mez. There's a whip there. They're moving that out of the way. Good move by Peachum. Don't want to lose that. It's just a waste of res. And that, that forces them to stay a bit back. Because now they can't really get that close. And Nama's doing a great job at uh, harassing these marines here, just forcing them to sit back a bit. We've got two Skulks engaging up here in Orpress, and we're trying to get a phase gate up here, actually. Uh, Ray does get the kill on Wii, and Dan's gets the kill on Valge, so that's going to go That's gonna go up. And fades are going to be coming up right now, in fact. 7 minute 30 fades. Uh, perfect timing with the weapons 1 and shotguns, though. So, good, good position for the snails. Pretty much been the same every single game they've played as marines so far. Llama's trying to distract again, but now they're going to focus on getting res up. They've got the uh, free phase gates, and most teams do that now. They're trying to just get the res down uh, and draw the marines away, and then they will go for those phase gates when the marines are trying to defend their RTs. But we see Ray, and we've got six RTs for the marines now, so they're in a perfect position. And we see Ray and Dams here. They're going to build the RT here in enough times. And we've got Vald, first fade, as well as we. Oh, Kingo, he's already, he's already scared uh, we off. But he does die to Lyper's Gorge Spit. And uh, Heracles and Eagle are just going to sit here tight in the hub. Uh, meanwhile, Jesus is going down from Tain, and Observation's already dead. So they're going to be on four RTs uh, sooner rather than later. Um, we've, seen a, we've seen a free man push here. I want to spec Wii. I want to see what these fades do. Okay, we see an engagement in the hub here. We've only got two Marines here, and Wii's playing very, uh, very cautious. He's not really backing his team up there. I uh, can't really see the HP in the that view. It's a shame. Tane does go down. He's not a fade though, so that's fine. He doesn't want to flash fade like he did last game. Um, but not, by all means, he's not a bad fade. He just got he got shot down by the Marines. There's nothing he could have done in that situation last game. And we've seen a three man alien push here to Ray and Dams. And they're going to try and get this all process and phase gate down, but we've got. Oh, Heracles and Eagle coming from behind. Really nice trapping here. And Wee's quite low. Half HP. Llama's escaping. Oh, look how low he is, but he's going to make it out of there. We've got a gorge there, ready to kill. Uh, Alien's sitting on three RTs right now. They have got all their spurs up, and Biobomb is being researched. They're going to go for a gorge Biobomb push with the whole team on one of those phase gates at some point. Uh, probably going to go for a processing. Although, maybe hub. But hub is probably easier to get back up than all processes. And Dams gets the uh, nano nano armor there. And Ray just sitting in that little inlet there. Now we've got to spec Dams, see what he can do. Uh, but he does go down, that's a shame. Nothing he can do against those numbers. Now all processes is probably going to go down. There's no one ready to phase through. Uh, we've got a spawner coming through. Two spawners, in fact, are coming through. Are they going to phase through? I don't know. Too many aliens out. I think they're just going to leave that one. Uh, yeah, they're going to leave that. They've recycled it. Uh, so now all mess are going to go down. I still want six RTs. Seventh one being built now. Um, Wow, logistics is really low. Didn't actually manage to kill that Tane. 
Um, seven one being built in warehouse, is that? Yeah, warehouse. Now these two marines are free to push the server. We've only got one fade here, and that's Tane. So we're doing the free fade setup again. Uh, one lurk. They haven't actually anyone made use of any umber yet. They most both teams have actually struggled to uh, to get their second hive up. Oh wow! So what's going on here? They're actually going to retreat back into Nez. They're probably going to try and get an RT up. They're doing really well right now, the snails. Um, now we're seeing a two-man pressure group from the aliens against a two-man two, two -man marine group. And Wee's really low. Oh my god. So low. But no one there to trap him. And we've got a Gorge ready to heal. Now we've got a four-man alien push. Two fades, a Gorge and a Lurk. That's a really strong combination. But now we've got three marines here as well. And we've got uh, dams coming from behind. I don't know if... Vowed knew is there. The RT is going to go down. They have recycled it though, so that's fine. They don't lose any res from that. Um, well, maybe a little bit. <coughs> uh, now the four... Now the four aliens are going to... Where are they going to go? Dams is just sitting here. No one spotted him. I'm surprised I didn't see him on the minimap. But now King Yeri on his own in their main base. And he gets taken down. No no upgrades going down there. Um, we're seeing a little engagement here. Oh, that's the that's the Gorsan. Really nice uh, timing there from Ray and Heracles. And that's <laughs> that is going to go down. But now we see Wee... Coming in with Tane, Wee is definitely the most cautious of the players. Uh, playing it very safe, and now the Nana Arm has run out, so they're free to attack. Oh, and Wee does get the kill on Ray there, but now we're seeing some pressure from behind from Eagle Eye. Oh, and Lyper goes down the gorge. Now Heracles is really low, he's got Nana Arm on him. He does need some med packs. Uh, no phase actually down yet. Tane really low there. Really, really low. Now we're seeing uh, everyone just healing back up in base. We're seeing biomass freestyled. Uh, we haven't really made much use of that bio bomb at the moment. And Ray's here on his own against two fades. He's going to go down. Three fades make that. But there is a trap coming in from behind from Heracles and Dams. I don't know if it's going to be too late. Oh, and we are so low. If only they'd made that a little bit sooner. Or if they had someone coming in from Mez. But they are trying to push Mez. Uh, Mez still not built. Six RT still for the Marines. They're getting weapons free as we speak. This is really good for them. Uh, they're just... You know, these, these phases are forced to retreat every time as soon as they even engage. Um, oh, and here we go, we see three marines. Two marines rather against three uh, aliens. And they do manage to hold off against them, against the three fades. And this officer's going to go down now, they're going to weld each other. One's going to keep his gun out so he can shoot the RT, and then they're going to switch around and weld the other one. Oh, uh, and here we go, the three fades are coming back in. Made that two fades and a skulk. And Llama. Oh, we! We almost dies! What happened there? No shooting on him after he's so low on HP. And we've got lots of med packs coming in now. Uh, aliens are only on one RT as well. So much pressure from the Marines right now. They're just no fearing it all the way around the map. And we and Veld coming back in. Oh, and here we go. We're seeing a beacon. We're seeing a beacon. They're going to try and kill them before this beacon comes, but they don't get the kill. Oh, really good move from uh, Real Set. It's done that on the previous map as well. Works really well. So now we're seeing the aliens going to go for all process and Ray and Heracles are here though. He's only got an LMG Ray, but Heracles has got a shotgun and we know how good he is with that shotgun. We saw it on Jambi. He got quite a lot of meat shots and I think he got two fake kills on it. Now we're seeing the Eagle Eye Dams coming in from Mez and King is building up the Mez RT. He probably should come back and help out his team. Nano armor on Dams there. No fake kills, but look how low Vald is. Wow. And Llama does die. Uh, he was the Lurk. I didn't actually see if he died earlier on. I might have missed that one. Uh, I think he just died there though. Don't see any dead lurk bodies anywhere. And now we're seeing Ray and Heracles taking down platform yet again. Two fades here. Scope does go down in the form of Lyper. Uh, look how cautious the fan. They're too scared to go there. Oh man. Oh man. Now we're seeing two fades and a Skulk coming in. Oh, and they do get the kill on Ray. The Heracles here. He's getting med spam like crazy. And he almost kills the half, so he's reloading. But oh, look at this dual pressure group from the Marines. Oh, Dams does go down as well. We've seen the beacon. We don't want to lose that P-Res. We getting really low there again. Seven RTs for the Marines now. Really, really strong. And uh, now the aliens are going to go for half. But all the Marines are phasing through at the same time. Val timed that really badly. And he could go down now, but he's not going to. He does manage to escape with his life. And uh, Mez is up. Look at this. Two RTs for the aliens. Platform is on 6% HP. That is going to go down just from an LMG from like a crazy distance. And we're seeing Heracles playing really... Really sneaky here. Don't know if Tane knows he's there. Maybe he does. They haven't got aura, so maybe they heard him. Oh, and Tane really low. Takes a meat shot. Heracles needs med spam. Val really low. Look how well Heracles is playing. Just fending off two fades all on his own. Weapons free makes a huge difference. Really big difference. And Val low. He's coming back in. Tane low. He's trying to escape. He goes back through Heracles. Very risky. We now trapped here in trapped in warehouse. They need someone to go all processes and quickly, but there's no one available. And he's going to go around. 
Um, no. No one there to get him down. That would have been a perfect kill. Heracles and Dams, they're just going to go for this RT here. Oh, and look. we coming in from behind. What can he do? He's going to go back round because he knows that he's not going to make it through. And Dams is going to try and pressure him. There's no one to go all processing yet, though. And Nikolai's is going to get the kill on Lyper. He's going to rebuild here. And we he's going to come through hard from all processing. He's going to go... Is he going to go North Tunnels again? Surely not. And we've got no Marines here in Metz, so he's, he's fine there. He's safe. Tane took down... Uh, he took down Ray with a swipe. Uh, and we makes it back safely. Back home. Uh, still no second alive. As you can expect, I mean, look at this RT harassment. Uh, from Snails. You know, they're just denying all the RTs. They have only got four at the moment. They've two more being built. There's no way in hell that the Swan are going to get in a second hive at this point. Look at this map control. It's crazy. Um, so we see Dams and Heracles there. Just take it down the main base also. It's Oh man. So bold. So bold. It must really pee the aliens off when that happens. Uh, they do get a kill on Peach from the com. He was a gorge. But the two marines do go down. But at this point they don't really need to worry about their heroes too much. I mean, they're sitting on five RTs, although they are three dead. They could lose a phase gate right now. Kingyo trying to camp there, trying to get a meat shot. He does get quite... Oh, and we so low! Four HP! Four percent HP, rather. Oh, man. And Llamas are lurk again. He manages to get get enough res to lurk. Maybe that was a T-res drop. I'm not sure. At this point, they really do need to expand, though. And they can't. Uh, they do get missed down, though. Five RTs still for the Marines. Sick one being built. Uh, that's going up in... I have no idea where. I can't see it at the And we see a fade, three fades coming into Mez against three Marines. They've all got LMGs. Oh, one shotgun. That's on Ray. No meat shots as of yet. They're all still free to attack. They're going to retreat. Dams is getting med spam right now. He's got nano armor. Probably would have put down Ray as soon as he's got the shotgun, but never mind. And Dams just hiding under the stairs. He's going to go down. Oh no. It's just Ray left to defend. Oh no. King Air comes in to reinforce. That's fine. Reinforce. And that is the name of the current patch. Upcoming patch, rather, for. Uh, Natural Selection 2, on the 31st of August, I think it is. And we see Heracles going down in Warehouse here, and now we're seeing a four-man alien push against Ray and Eagle Eye in all prison, and Tain does go down! First fate to die! Oh, man. He's the first fate to die again. I don't know what's happening there. He's just not as strong as Alien as he is Marine. That is for sure. And Lyper going on the uh, RT here repair. Definitely need to keep the RT harassment up. I mean, they're really struggling right now. Uh, sort of them. Uh, we're seeing Wee and Vald going for the hub phase gate. King Yo does face through with nano armor. And we're seeing four aliens here. We're seeing a lurk, two fades. Made that fr yeah, two fades and a skulk and a lurk. And Ray and Eagle are coming through. P Res is looking okay on the marine side. They've actually got quite a lot to be fair. And uh, Vald just in on his own, getting trapped in that little cart there. He doesn't manage, to, don't manage to get the kill on him though. And uh, Dams and Heracles going for that platform RT again. Really nice pressure from the marines. Six RTs. Not a lot Sauna men can do at this point. This could be the map in favour of Legendary Snails, the first point we've seen. And Peachum just going, he's actually jumped out as calm. He's just going to go for those RTs while his team defend. Um, he isn't Gorge anymore, so he's not really going to serve much purpose as to stick with the, uh, with the team. And we're seeing Heracles and Dams here. I really want to see a kill from one of those two on a fade, but no, it doesn't happen. I would have gone first person if they it looked like they were going to kill it. Uh, Ray's just going to rebuild here up in... Uh, up an elevator. What are these phase going to go? Oh, they're going for Ray. They need to recycle that. F that. And he's, I don't think he's going to get a kill. Oh, let's check we out. What's he got to like? <laughs> nice, nice play from them. Quite nice. Uh, they've gone for celerity. It looks like their, their fates. Oh, nice trap. Devon Dams almost getting the kill when we there. Could have done with another meat shot from Eagle as well, and he would have been down. Life is really low. I'm not sure where he is right now. Probably just healing up in base. Um, we're just seeing Heracles sitting out <laughs> outside North Tunnels right now. He loves doing this. Just, just sit here and let the alien sneak past him, and then it, bam, just get a new shot. We're seeing Kingo just getting a shot on Tain there. Does kill him. Uh, and Vald and we going for this phase gate in all process, and there's only uh, two Marines ready to phase through. No one else. Uh, have they got shotguns? One shotgun on Dams. Eagle does as well, I think. Um, we're seeing North Thunder is going to go down. Really well played by Heracles there. Let's see if we can spec him. Might get a kill. He's got 100% HP. Oh, he's quite low on armor. Really good aiming from him, but unfortunately he couldn't seal the deal. Too many there. Uh, they had the enzyme missed as well. Now we're seeing Ray. He's just going to take opportunity of this uh, timing and push their main base. There's only Lyper in there. There's a, a drifter. He's ready to scout. Lyper's actually in a gorge. If they scan that, they can kill him. 
That'd be a really good time. And Pigeon jumps out. And life is going to be gorgeous any second now. They do manage to get the halves down. And the two phase are coming back now. They're going to get Ray down, but it doesn't matter. He's only got an energy. It's not a big deal. He managed to kill the Harvester. Uh, they're still sitting on 1RT, and that's that's platform. Really not great for them. And uh, the Marines are well aware now that they're using their shift to to echo their Harvesters. So they're actually going for the Harvesters in the main base to kill them before they're fully grown. Uh, it's easier than just going for a fully grown Harvester that's that's in like North Tunnels, for example, platform, uh, because it's obviously got less HP. And you know they've got <laughs> they've got hard. They can easily get there, no problem. And this is actually oh no, no it's not. Uh, so we're seeing Wee and Val both fades against Dams on his own here. They're probably going to kill him, no problem. We actually pretty low there, but no one no one coming into ambush from behind. Uh, and they did drop. They shift echoes this harvester here in Mez. Uh, so that's fully grown, obviously. And now they're rebuilding the one in main base. And we've got Eagle Eye and Heracles here, ready to attack Mez. Uh, Dams is going to go north tunnels and uh, go and help out Kingyo. King has only got an MG against uh, Fader Gorge and another Fade. Uh, we actually fairly low there. Heracles getting the kill on Peachum. This house is going to go down now. Losing a lot of RTs. There. They're not even paying for themselves at this point because they're going down so quickly. And the Eagle Eye goes down to the likes of Tain. He is just a skull. And Heracles getting down armor. He does kill Tain. Let's try and spec Heracles. He's so low though. But we see. Oh! We see some backup from Hub. But Heracles does get taken down and Ray gets taken down as well. No Fade kills. Oh man. King and Dams now. Just building up in warehouse. Seven RTs and jetpacks have been started. That's the first time we've seen them thus far from any team. Uh, Heracles and Ray just defending up here against the Gorge. Gorge. The Gorge does have Bible moment, but he does go down. Really not great placement from Lyper there. Uh, his teammate did uh, desert him. I'm not sure that's a communication problem. And Wee's really low now. He does try to escape and defend uh, platform. King and Dams here. Uh, both full HP. So uh, this platform RT is going to go down most likely. And we see two phase coming in. The house is going to go down though. Really nice suicide from them. They knew that that was the priority. They're just denying any kind of res for the alien team. They're not even able to research any kind of upgrades or drop anything at this point. Only RTs. And Heracles, look, he's getting the nano armor against Wii. Wii does manage to retreat. Did the phase get getting uh, attacked by by Lama here, but he's going to run away and logistics is going down, but Eagle Eye successfully defends that. Um, Vald now attacking uh, attacking Warehouse along with uh, Wee and Liper. One Skulk, two Feds. And jetpacks are done. Dams is on his own though. What can he do on his own? Jetpacks are so strong against Fade though because it makes him use much more energy to try and get the hits. Uh, and that extractor is actually going to be safe. We do see two RTs going down though. One in observation, one in elevator. Dams is going to probably get this kill on Liper, but he is really low HP. Don't want to lose that. That P res against the lone skulk. And we've seen uh, actually a push now into the main hive from Ray King here and Heracles. They've just killed the half so that's being built. And Heracles is getting nano armored again. Oh, and now we're getting a beacon. Ray, give him meds. No, he does die. Such a shame. They're all going to get jetpacks now. Uh, P res is looking uh, quite well. Quite good. We need to get those RTs back up and then they can drop some uh, T res jetpacks. And I'm just going to get this phase, get uh, this RT down and repair. But Eagle Eye's here to defend. He does get the one shot kill on him. And Valid and we are going to get the RT down in Warehouse now. They're actually, no one's actually rebuilding these RTs at this point. They're just harassing. They're just denying any kind of uh, alien expansion. They know that they're low on resources. So they're just going to focus on getting them down. The problem with that is, though, that they're also going to be low on resources at this point. It doesn't matter how many upgrades they've got. If they haven't got the resources to, say, drop IPs if they're aliens to a base from their screwed. So now we're seeing a four-man push from the Marines. Make that five-man push with a flamer and jetpacks into the alien main base. And these jetpacks are devastating against uh, against the alien life forms, but that Ray does die there with his jetpack and this flamer. Now they're all retreating, there's not enough for us to beacon, there's zero res in fact, three RTs up. Uh, they really need to focus on getting some res now. They need to retreat, just hold on to these phase gates and get res back up. And that'll force the aliens to attack that res, otherwise they know the Marines are just going to continue teching. They've only got armor 2, but weapons 3, so I say only, that's still really strong. And King on his own now against two fades. Now they're going to go through the whole process of the phase game. But Eagle Eye's there with a jetpack and a shotgun ready to face through. And they're both retreating now. And now we're seeing Llama coming in from behind. But there's no one there to back him up. So I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to go and harass LT and repair. And we do see logistics being rebuilt by Ray here. And we've seen a little engagement here. Heracles kills Tain. He is just a skulk. And we've got Wee, Wee Val and Liper. Two phase in a gorge. And Liper just healing them both up now so they can... 
go back in. Oh, this is a constant cycle of this Mezzardi going down. And now Vowden Weir coming back in. Ooh, look how low Wee is. He almost did chase him down. Oh man, he's so low. They could have killed him there. Heracles getting some massive meat shots. Really well played. Uh, and Dams, he does get the kill on Llama, but the R RT doesn't go down and repair, so that's a shame. Oh, sorry, just had to get driven there. My first really dry. Uh, so, four man push now into Mezzanine. This RT is definitely going to go down. Uh, and now Dams trying to chase Vowed, but he's on his own. Probably not the best of option to go into their hive just to kill him. And now we're seeing. That house is down. They're back onto two RTs. We don't see any pressure onto the platform, but uh, we're seeing a bio bomb push with two fades onto a person. And they're all going to come and face through now, but that is so low. That's going to die as they defend. Oh no, there's no one there. The Peter's going to suicide. We know that's dead. 1% HP. Oh no. But the jetpacks are up, so they can easily get back there and rebuild that. Uh, and Wee's pretty low now. Dams is there to trap him, uh, but he doesn't realize which fade's low. He doesn't know. Uh, he doesn't know where he is either, but he doesn't die. He manages to survive. He retreats back to the hub, and they're going to rebuild in warehouse now, probably. Uh, maybe not. I'm not sure. And we're seeing a uh, two-man fade push into hub. Dam's going to die. He does get nano, though, so actually he doesn't die. Three-man push now. Really good defending um, from the Marines. So only on four RTs, but yeah, you've got a ton of tech at the moment. Uh, they don't have a second base. I don't think we're going to see Exos anytime soon. Just gonna focus on getting that res up, and um, we've got uh, one marine rebuilding uh, in observation now. And now we're seeing King A just pushing into the hive on his own, and he was trying to get Wee down, I imagine. Kind of missed that one. Uh, but platform's going down, forcing the face to come to these two. And now let's spec Wee, let's see what we can do. There is a nano arm there, probably best not to attack the guy with nano. He's playing pretty well right now, actually. He's actually avoiding the mob shots. Good, uh, good attack on uh, Eagle Eye there. And now uh, we're seeing one marine retreat. I can't actually see the names in this view, so that's a shame. We do see Heracles retreating, and he does get taken out by Vald uh, and Tame. And that's just Dams on his own, defending against uh, a fade. Uh, but we see Kingo here. He does manage to fend Wee off and deny the Mez, the Mez RT. And Vald's going to come in from the, the Mez vent. And Heracles has only got uh, LMG, but he, does, he doesn't have a jetpack, actually. Uh, and he... Eagle Eye does get killed in Llama. Uh, Tane's just harassing this uh, repair phase gate right now. But we see a three-man pressure group towards uh, towards platform, and Heracles is on his own with a JP and an LMG, and he does lose that, so that's another 15p res down the drain. Uh, platform's looking pretty safe right now. We've got a Gorge there, ready to heal it up. Uh, and somehow, Sornamen is still holding on. I have no idea what's going on here. And Vald's ready to... He's ready to... to deny this phase gate in Warehouse, along with Wee. Let's respect Wee. It's quite a good phase. Uh, he has been taking a lot of damage though, and we do see the Gorge there ready to, to help out. And now I'm going to spec Dams because he's been playing really well. Actually, that didn't work. Let's try that again. And we get to kill King Yo in platform there. Uh, there's actually no one coming to their warehouse, so that's kind of boring. But now we're seeing We and Vald. They're going to come in from behind and kill Heracles, I imagine. And Heracles has no idea that they're there. And We does get a kill. Uncontested. Not even a single shot on him. Uh, now Warehouse goes down, and now we're seeing Wee and Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye has got nano armor on him, and they do manage to scare the fades off. They run away. That's the problem with only having two fades. You can't really commit to that attack very well, especially against uh, weapons free. And we're seeing the sick T being built now for the Marines, and that's going up in elevator transfer. Now we're seeing a free man alien pressure group <laughs> against Ray. Uh, Wee's just slashing him and Wei's refusing to go down but he finally goes down to the Skulk Liper. The Eagle Eye comes in to reinforce, gets Liper down. Valg there, oh, he could have taken a mutual sure then died. Uh, King Eye tries to get the attack on him from behind and now they can trap him. There's nowhere for Valg to go. They're going to try and trap him in hub but at the same time Wee comes in from behind. Is Valg going to die? This could make a huge difference to the way the game's going. 4% HP, no one there to finish him off. Oh man, that is so unfortunate for the Snails. That was a turn tired of battle. Now we're seeing uh, we're seeing logistics going down. Not logistics, observation. Uh, but we do see Ray managing to defend that. And Lipers are now going for elevator transfer. They're just trying to get this res down. They're trying to force these marines away so they can get the attacks in from behind. And King and Dam's now engaging in two fades. Uh, they're actually doing okay. They're not that low on HP. We get a slash as he passes by on Kingyo. Uh, and we do see Tango down. He is just a skulk. Uh, Val just scouting here. He's got tons of energy. He's doing fine. And now we're seeing Wee and Llama. They're going to try and get Warehouse down, but there is a phase gate there. Heracles on his own, really low. He does die. I uh, don't know if he had a jetpack there. I didn't quite see. Armor Freeze has been started. Uh, 
So this is going to put him in a much stronger position. Raise on his own now. He really needs some help in Warehouse. No one here to face through, but he is getting Medpack spanned. Somehow he survives. Valve does only half HP. Uh, now we're seeing King and Eagle Eye just pressuring Mez now. Uh, that's going to not that's not going to be put up anytime soon. And they're probably going to build that for the Marines if they can. And we're seeing Tain against Ray and Dams right now. Uh, Heracles managed to get the kill on Lyper as he is retreating. And look how low that phase gate is. 7 uh, RT is 7% of RT. HP and Eagle Eye's just chasing Wii now. It's half HP. Eagle Eye's got a jetpack and a shotgun. Really scary as a Marine with weapons free. Now they're getting weapon uh, armor free as well. They're going to struggle. The Sword of Men are going to struggle at this point. And I can see a fade going down in the next two minutes. That's my prediction. Uh, and we've got Dams now. Just on his own. Nano armor against two fades. Uh, they're actually retreating quite early. But look how the Marines are positioned. They're positioning themselves so well that they're just trapping these fades. But they're still not getting the kills on them. It's really unfortunate. Uh, I'm surprised some of the men holding on for so long, to be honest. But their fades are playing very cautious, which is good. Um, they're just trying to hold out until they get another fade up. And uh, Tane is probably going to be their next fade. Uh, and we're seeing Heracles and Dams just fending off against these three aliens right now. And we see a whip here just bombarding these two marines, trying to get their, their armor down. And it actually takes a hell of a lot of armor damage off of, off of the marines, even with uh, armor free. But that hasn't finished yet. It's going up soon, and we're seeing a four-man alien push towards a warehouse. Heracles and Dams are here, both with jetpacks, one with an LMG, one with a shotgun. We're seeing Nana Armour, we're seeing the whole Marine team now, bar the commander. Heracles does get a kill on Tame. Oh, and they still can't get weed out, but they should do a massive push to, uh, to server him right now. They could actually do some really serious damage, and Llama's just trying to fend them off with his spikes there. They probably could have killed him if they chased him down. We're seeing we and Lyper going for the phase gate. Phase gate gets nano armor. Lyper down gets killed by Ray. And now it's the platform going down uh, from Heracles and Kingo. And Dam's coming in from behind as well. Yeah, does get the kill on Tane. He is just a skulk, as I said. But now he can go fade 40, 40 p res. We still haven't claimed. Uh, <laughs> we still haven't claimed Mez, but now they've just dropped it. They're going to try and deny that as much as possible. And we're seeing a big engagement here in uh, in platform. Dams, Heracles, and Kingo fending off three aliens. Vowed, we two fades in the lurk. Armour being in the lurk. We so low again. There's so many times where they've almost killed him, but he doesn't go down. Wow. Doing really well now. Uh, the snails. <laughs> there's, there's a whip there that's just been echoed in, trying to pick off one of those marines. And Heracles is actually dangerous and low. Uh, they need to kill that, and they do manage to get find the kill on it. Uh, Mez is up now, two marines, Eagle Eye and Ray. They're just going to fend off on this choke point so that they can get easy shots on uh, on the fades. And then he's got any alien life form for that matter. And now we're seeing three marines in platform, two in Mez. This is really good pressure from the snails. It's just a matter of what they, what sauna men prioritize at this point. What group do they attack first? In my opinion, they should go for the Mez. There's only two there. They can get that down easy. These three are out of position. They could probably get the phase gate while that's down. And we're seeing arcs here in Mez. They're going to go for an arc push, and they're going to. This is going to open up so many options for them. They can easily get uh, server them down while the other Marines are pressuring elsewhere. This allows for a double or triple pressure group splitting the forces. And even if the arcs go down, the Marines have got more than enough damage to take structures down with your shotguns. But you don't even need the arcs. They can just act as a distraction, or you can use the Marines' distraction. It opens up a lot of options for the Marine commander. And now we're seeing Dams and Eagle Eye trying to fend off four aliens here. Two fades, a lurk and a skulk. Eagle Eye doing a great job. Uh, as I said, these jetpacks keep them alive that bit longer. And obviously they're getting medpam stacks. And we're seeing three arcs now on their way to Warehouse. This is where the game could change. Only two Marines here in Platform. The Platform RT hasn't been dropped though. Uh, there's no sisters, they can't echo it in. And Vald, Tain, so yeah, Tain did go fade. Vald, Tain, Lyper, Llama, and we are all coming in. And Dams going in on his own. Very risky play. Oh no, Ray's there. Very risky play. Dams is probably going to die now. He's so low. They don't know that. And he's getting med pack spammed. He could have died to the spikes there, but a little bit too late. Um, we're seeing two fades, a lurk. Make that three fades and a lurk. In Mez, Dams getting nano armor. Ray almost down. He does lose his shotgun and his jetpack. Eagle are trying to chase down. They're just not, they're not sealing the deal with these these fades and not getting the kills, it's such a shame. They have got eight RTs and look, exosuits are coming now as well. Eight RTs against one RT. What can Sword of Men do? They do a grand job of holding off this long with only one hive and one or two RTs this whole time. And we're in 34 minutes into the game. Really doing a great job right now. This is the last stand by uh, Sword of Men as we says. We're seeing a flamer from Heracles. He's almost dead. They're trying to target him. They know how much of a threat that flamer poses and they're not getting any med packs right now. 
uh, for this now. I'm not sure why. And we've got five of them now, all in one place. This And five aliens as well. This is going to be a huge engagement. I might have to go first person. Who shall I spec? Let's go for... Let's go for Heracles. He's my main man. And then that flamer is so interesting to watch. Oh, it's a little bit laggy, but it's not too bad. It's still easily viewable. Uh, look, now they've pushed, oh, they've pushed the aliens all the way back to their hive, but at the same time they can get the healing from the hive and the Kregs that are there. So that's in a way a little bit better. Last stand of FPS. Tane's struggling with FPS there. And now I've got some weird flamer bug. I've got a flame on my screen. What is this? Oh my god, I've got a flame on my screen. This is insane. Okay, it's disappeared. That's fine. <laughs> what was that? And look how low we is. Oh my god, he's getting chased down and no one can get the kill on him, please. Kill the fade, and now I'm getting this flamer bug again. That's probably because I spec Heracles. What have you done to me, Heracles? You've given me this flamer bug. <laughs> oh man, and there it is again. I'm somehow Heracles' flames are projecting onto my screen from miles away. Oh, that's pretty funny. And now we've got four marines, not five. Uh, they're just pushing into server now. There's so little the aliens can do. There's, they can barely heal at the hive because there's so much pressure. Oh man, and Tain does go down. He's, Again, he dies before the, um, before his teammates, and they've been alive all this time. But what can he do in this situation? He's bound to die there. Both of the both of the fate to die as well. And really well played by Snails, and that is the first game, the first point.